We are at war. I have been announcing for the past two years solidly without fail every day that we're in the tribulation. Uh, I've not failed to introduce that, to announce that. But we are now, as of the 24th of February, the year 2022, uh, now 14 hours into what is the actual shooting world war. And I want to call this particular teaching the bear hug. Uh, By that, I want to reference that the beast or Russia, which is Gog, spoken of in the Bible, in, in Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 2, and in uh, Revelation chapter 20, that the, uh, what Putin has done in terms of putting troops on the border of Belarus uh, at the, on the north of Ukraine and uh, putting troops along the eastern border of the Donbass and of the separatist regions and then putting troops down in the south in the Crimea area, that he has actually put a bear hug um, as his first act of war that went on now for the past couple of weeks. But as you know, a bear grabs you and hugs you and squeezes you till it squeezes all the life out of you. Well, that's what Trump, uh, what uh, Putin, who is the bear himself, Russia is known by most historians, uh, political types. Uh, Russia has been given the symbiotic symbol of the bear. And so what what Putin has done in demonstrating this with the sources of evil at his command has put a bear hug on Ukraine. But I, I want to announce that that bear hug is on the West, including America. We'll get to that a little bit later on. But I also want to state that we have been teaching about Gog, who is Russia, and the beast, and Magog, who is China, and the dragon, and uh, Vladimir Putin, who is now the incarnate beast, and Xi Jinping, who's now the incarnate dragon. And we have been alarming the world from our church here in Harlem that we are in the tribulation. And the war now, the actual rockets and missiles are now being fired from the artillery stances of the beast, or Russia, and the response by Ukraine. And I'll talk about the West response with their so-called economic, if you will, sanctions that they plan to level against uh, the beast. But the other thing I think is very important here that you've not heard anyone on the news not in the newspapers and the major carriers, the major networks, the major cable networks. None of them will associate what is going on now in Russia with the beast or with Gog as prophesied in the the book of Revelation or prophesied by Jesus in the book of St. Matthews, chapter 24, where Jesus said there will be wars and rumors of war. None of them references, none of them associate what is presently happening as being prophesied by Jesus. Now the media, which they're given to do, which is also run by Satan himself, they're all a satanic organization, blasphemous about abominable law. I don't care whether some little newspaper in some little podunk town. They're all controlled by Satan. And none of them are informing the world at large that this was this war, this event happening in the East with the beast, with Russia, with Ukraine, was prophesied by Jesus. They have tried to shut the mouth of Jesus. They will not let Jesus speak on their broadcast. They will not say this was prophesied by Jesus. They have shut the mouth. They have silenced Jesus on their broadcast. They will not tell the world that Jesus foretold this. And it's been written by Matthew in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 24, and by John the Revelator in John's Gospel, and and, and the book of Revelation, chapter 20, 19 and 16, several chapters where John the Revelator talks about the bees. The media globally have shut, have silenced 
the voice of Jesus. But I and I alone have stated we are in the tribulation. I've been stating it for more than two years now. And more of that fruit of that tribulation, the power of that tribulation is imminent. There's one other thing that I think needs to be clear as well, is that America's largest non-Catholic evangelical religious group known as the Southern Baptist. And as, as you know, the war is on. There, bullets are flying, missiles are flying, bombs are exploding. This is not just talk anymore. But the Southern Baptist, America, largest, and then globally, the world's largest evangelical organization is also silent. And the reason why the Southern Baptists are silent is because more than 200 years ago, they got duped into by Satan. They got duped into by Satan to say that they will be raptured out of the earth before the bombs start flying, before Russia attacks Ukraine, before the tribulation is realized that they will be taken out of the earth before that happened. Now, it was a lie planted in the global evangelical movement, but specifically in the Southern Baptist movement. And many of the great, the, the, the well-known Southern Baptist leaders and teachers have taught this for years that the Southern Baptists will be miraculously raptured out of the earth before the tribulation, and then the tribulation will happen. It was a flat-out lie. And they have, teached, they have preached it for years from Southern Baptist pulpits, so they're silent now. They can't say this is a tribulation, because to say this is a tribulation, they would have to say that they made a mistake by saying they would be raptured out of the tribulation with all that business of left behind and the rapture and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 17, all apply to them. It's, it, anyone with any theological exegetical skills or anybody with the Holy Ghost would have known that that would mean that Jesus would have to return a third time to come back to get the elect, as is in Matthew's gospel, chapter 24, verse 31 through 39. Any person with any exegetical skills or any Holy Ghost would have known what the Southern Baptists have been preaching and crowing about for the last 200 years was a flat-out misapplication, if not bald-faced, blasphemous lie. So they can't say that. So the world is in the tribulation, but the world media is silent. Nobody's talking about Jesus. They're all talking about Russia. They're talking about, uh, they're not realizing that Putin is the beast, the bear. They're not talking, they're not identifying that. And I got news for you. I have been teaching now that we are in the tribulation. Now we are in it, no doubt about it. I'll talk more about the West as the days go on. But to come, Russia's not going to stop you, Ukraine. And by the way, Putin is not in control of his own faculties. Putin is in control of the prophesied beast. And the, the, the other thing that we need to be mindful of is that the beast or the east, if you will, B-E east, which is the beast of east, Russia and China are in the east. Europe and America is considered the west. This won't stop here. The one person that the beast or Russia or China has as its ally in this process is China, who is the dragon. Now, China has reconstituted the dragon and given him life and worship in China as a supreme in their mega godless, mighty godless statue. But they given the dragon the highest caliber, if you will, of, of spirituality for them. And so they, but here's what's going to happen geographically. Russia will crush Ukraine and will move further west, as far west as Germany, France, England, across the Atlantic, the North Atlantic, and into New York City. Russia is coming. China, that is Magog, and the dragon will, after a series of events, will crush Taiwan and Hong Kong. 
and move east across the Pacific. So China will come from the east to the west coast of California to crush America. The dragon will come China across Taiwan, across the Pacific, across South Korea to California. Russia, the beast, will come across Ukraine, Europe, the English Channel, the Atlantic Ocean from the east to the west. And the twain shall meet at promontory point here in America. America as the west has fallen. Now I'll tell you more about that in a moment. You're not, many of you probably don't want to hear it, don't believe it. That It's just prophecy. I'm not against you. I'm just speaking the prophecy of the Lord Jesus Christ. The east will rise. The east will travail the tribulation and be maintained by the beast and the dragon through the tribulation. That's read your book, read your Bible in the book of Revelation. While the west will be crushed. Now, the media will not honor the Lord Jesus Christ by speaking his prophecy. They won't do it. They've long since decided that they hate Jesus. They hate Moses even more. The media, the people in control of, of Wall Street, the people in control of politics, even in whether they be liberal or conservative, they hate Jesus. They hate Moses more than they hate Jesus. So they're not going to give him any credit. They're not going to give Jesus any life. While the East and uh, the Beast are uh, at war headed for America in maybe a year or so. But they're not going to give Jesus any, any speaking. They're not going to let Jesus speak on CNN. They're not going to let Jesus speak on the Wall Street Journal, even though it'd be a bit conservative, or the Washington Post or the New York Times. They're not going to let Jesus speak and clarify his prophecy. This world uh, this, is a, this is a world war, if you don't mind my saying so. And the bear hug, you can call it what you want, but if you go back and remember the days of the graphic, going back just a few days ago, the graphics of the Russian troops on the border of Ukraine from Belarus in the north to Crimea in the south, the Donbass area in the east, it was a bear hug. Russia is the bear. Ask John Kennedy and his, and his dealer with Nikita Khrushchev. Or ask the president prior to that in dealing with Stalin or with Boris Yeltsin. Or ask Reagan in dealing with Gorbachev. Russia is the bear. So Russia put a bear hug on the Ukraine. Now, you know, some people say Robert E. Lee was the greatest general ever, strategically. Patton was a great general. And uh, they, they, they all, MacArthur, a great general. I'm not here praising Russia. I'm not doing what Donald Trump did. Now, God forbid. But what I am saying, the strategy that Putin has put in place by the way, this strategy is not just a couple of months old. This, is, this strategy is two to three years old. Since the tribulation was enjoined four years ago with Trump, the bear or the beast or Gog, uh, Putin, began to put this strategy. This is at least a four-year-old strategy to put a hug, put a bear hug on Ukraine. That is microscopic, microscopic rather, of the macrocosm of what Russia is now doing on, in the world. Russia put a bear hug on the world. Now, what is going to happen is that we're going to feel the pains of war in America like a woman giving birth in the next nine months. <laughs> You're going to feel like a woman giving when the first time the child moves, though the war is now in Ukraine, in the east. In a month or so, the baby starts moving and the woman feels the baby move. You're going to feel that. You're going to, we're going to feel that war here in America in real time. 
three, four months from now, you're going to feel it in real time. And ain't nobody in America going to miss feeling it. Kings and paupers alike. You're going to feel it in real time. America's combat of this is to cut off access to the world, which is going to cut off access to the kings and the billionaires and poor people alike. But the one thing that America will, that the media will not do is that they're not they're not they're not going to let Jesus speak. But we are at work. The dragon, who is supportive of what the bear is doing, has hit his hand. Now we we're going to we're going to feel the baby move. We're going to feel that war here in America. Two three months, it's going to hit America financially within the next couple of weeks and stretch out across a summer from hell. And we're going to feel it. And there's nothing you can do to protect yourself. This is all prophesied by Jesus. I'm, I, you know, I'm not saying throw your hands up and just, but you need to throw yourself on the mercy of Almighty God and his prophecy. But ain't nobody going to stop this. You, you're not going to, I don't care how many soldiers you put in Poland or Hungary or wherever. You're not going to stop it. I don't, how many sanctions you put against the bear against Putin. You're not going to stop it. This is Jesus, understand. This is Jesus, understand. This is a prophecy that's 100 proof, 100 proof aged in Scripture. This is a prophecy. The tribulation and what we see happening now is a prophecy 100% proof aged, aged in Scripture. This is the real deal. This is it. We're seeing scripture unfold before our very eyes. By we, I mean those of us of the elect, those of us who are predestined, those of us who are carrying the burden of the holy and the righteous. The rest of the world, they're as blind as bats. And uh, <laughs> you can't even talk to them about the tribulation. They think that somehow or another that America is going to be able to withstand this. They're wrong. America is even divided along these lines. Trump, Fox News, and MAGA people are supporting Russia. They are. The Dems, the liberals, Biden, the LGBTQ are supporting Ukraine and everything in between. So America's divided on this issue. They're, we're not united. And, and rightly so. But America will not, her days, her day, and I'm not on America. Let me say this. Let me move. Let me, I'm not on America. I love America. God bless America. I love America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above, from the mountains to the valleys, to the oceans, to the valleys. With, with grain, I love America, my home, sweet home. Let's be clear about that. I love America. Yes, sir, I'm a flag waving, apple pie, take me out to the ball game. But her days are gone. And I'll have more in the weeks coming teaching about why her days are gone, but it's over with. The East will overthrow the West. That's just Bible. It's just Jesus. And, you know, I don't know if there's anybody in these major networks, cable networks, have the understanding of the Bible of the tribulation. Maybe they want to talk about it, but the editors and the owners of these, event, of these uh, platforms uh, will not let that message about tribulation, about will not let Jesus speak. They don't want to hear from Jesus from this. this that, and so that, that some might be so constrained that uh, they're, they're not going to be able to, um, to uh, I mean, they won't let Jesus speak. But Jesus is speaking here at Outlaw. And he's been speaking now for the past four years about the tribulation. And you've heard me. You've heard me call it out. Let me take the time now to thank all of you who did not call me a quack or a false prophet or a crazy preacher in the streets of Harlem. When I said that we are in the tribulation, when I said that it's Donald John Trump's responsibility to trigger the tribulation, you don't have to attribute it to them as good or bad. That's, that's not here nor there. It's just a prophecy. It's just a prophecy. It's of the Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, it's like Judas, for instance. You know, Jesus said, one of y'all are going to betray me. Then meant that Judas was the world's worst person. By the way, I'm not trying to clean up anything for Trump. I'm just trying to give you a greater breadth of the length and the stretch of the prophecy that you are not going to hear from St. Patrick's Cathedral or from the Vatican 
or from the High Holy Vatican of CNN or the Vatican of Fox or the High Holy Vatican of MSNBC or Washington Post or New York Times. You're not going to hear from those citadels. They're not going to let Jesus speak. Perchance if they did, some of you might repent and be converted and saved before the, the West sinks into the sea of the Gentiles as prophesied in the word of God. However, thank all of you who've not deserted me. Thank you. Thank you. At times I felt like I was standing alone. At times I reached out and cried out to Jesus, where are you? Why? At times things got so bad, the LGBTQ company, a group pressuring, coming down on me from every aspect they possibly can. The media crushing me. The time I cried out, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me in the darkness here of New York City, left me alone without, 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 without a friend to come to my aid? As I cried, we're in the tribulation. Oh, no, that's what God said. The land where the people shall walk barefoot because the land is holy ground. And yet, the Lord stayed with me, and you did too. Thank you. I'm James David Manning, everybody. I'm the Lord's servant. Remember?